The nine-member crew of the Dodi Chira 69 are ecstatic about winning ARC 2021, crossing the finish line in the pre-dawn hours of Friday, 3rd December. The 23-meter monohaul had a rough start from Las Palmas, Spain on 21st November, but as the trade winds picked up, the vessel made good time during the second half of the 3,188 nautical mile route, reaching up to incredible speeds of 28 knots. Despite its impressive performance, it was a race to the finish for the Italian vessel with its closest competitor, a French catamaran. Matteo Grassi is the spokesman. We had a lot of wind uh, in the trades coming in the last three or four days, which made the whole thing also feel very, you know, big waves, lots of wind. Uh, the boat was going very fast. Uh, it was really a wonderful experience. Good weather overall, uh, except for some very light wind in the beginning coming away from uh, the Canary Islands. Uh, but on the whole, uh, uh, just a wonderful race and an amazing boat um, designed by Guillaume Verdier and Axel, Ver de Axel de Beaufort, the designer of the, one of the designers of the boats. The crew hailing from Italy, France and the U.S. are seasoned sailors who have braved many transatlantic voyages. But undertaking the Arc Challenge and winning on the first crossing represents a special victory. Navigator Ambrogio Baccaria says strategy on the open waters is essential. The experience was great for us because uh, I think that we chose the, the, the right routes for us, for the boat also. So at the end, because the day before uh, the start of the race, we were thinking about uh, going north or going south and it was big difference in strategy and uh, also in comfort and in safety so at the end i think that we choose the the right thing to do and but it was also the most performance uh, choice that we had because at the end we we were able to push the boat 100 percent all the time and i think that uh, it was clear that like in the last 48 hours we we gave it all and uh, so at the end we, we also had a, a great uh, pleasure to sail because I mean to sail in the trade with 30 knots and uh, going uh, super fast with this kind of boat it's, uh, it's super nice, it's uh, wonderful. Since the emergence of COVID-19, organizers of the ARC have had to scale down the event. However, they have ensured that the essence and authenticity of the Sinusian experience is not lost. Event manager Andrew Pickerskill, as well as the general manager of the IGY Rodney Bay Marina, Sean DeVoe, note that given the pandemic, the Ox platform of camaraderie, diversity and forging of new bonds is even more significant. While we were able to run ARC last year, it was much reduced. And we are very glad to see the entries for this year are twice, or over in fact, twice the number for last with 143 boats and almost 900 crew crossing the Atlantic to arrive in St Lucia before the prize giving in two weeks time. Considering the, the start that you had um, and you know being here now in, in 11 days had you had a, a good start I think both Andrew and I were, were probably toying with the idea that there possibly could have been a, a record uh, for this year which is an amazing achievement um, considering everything we're, we're going through right now with COVID um, and considering you here in St. Lucia, we've managed to pull it off with the support of participants like yourself, um, I think you have a lot to be proud of. 141 yachts with more than 900 crew members are participating in ARC 2021, including 36 children under the age of 16, the youngest being 19 months old. Chairman of the Sinusha Tourism Authority, Thaddeus Antoine, says organizers have been carefully guided by the Ministry of Health to ensure the safe hosting of the ARC. The ARC has been very important to us in St. Lucia. It has been a staple, as you know, for 32 years. And we're hoping there, there are more spin-offs. And you may have been um, told there's um, ARC January. So I'm hoping some of you will stay behind to partake in ARC January. And then other regattas are built around um, the ARC as we go along. So once again, I would like to welcome you to St. Lucia and ask you to enjoy the best you can within the limited protocols that we have. Stay safe. As we see at the Ministry of Tourism and indeed the um, Tourism Authority, we've now created a safe harbor. 
and not just safe harbor because you're in a marina, but safe harbor St. Lucia being a beautiful island that it is, that you feel very safe in it with the protocols we have established for everybody's safety. Each year, the ARC pumps up to $10.3 million into the local economy within a three-week period. And with the creation of ARC January, which sails off on January 9, 2022, from Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, additional spin-off effects are expected. ARC January follows the same navigational route. 60 boats have already registered for this adventure. The introduction of the new component will attract more visitors to the island for a longer stay and entice the participants of ARC December to stay on. Honorable Dr. Ernest Teller is the Minister for Tourism. The ARC contributes significantly to the economy of St. Lucia, to our tourism um, returns. So we are always happy when we have such a large pool of participants. I believe we had about 140 yachts or so, and we certainly hope that it will continue to grow. So please um, welcome once again. Enjoy St. Lucia. Let's be merry. Compliant with COVID protocols, the ARC program has been adapted to include virtual events and limited gatherings facilitated by World Cruising Club, Event St. Lucia, and the St. Lucia Tourism Authority. From the Government Information Service, Lisa Joseph reporting.